And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Houston Astros and the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch coming your way next. Jose Altuve up to it here. The second baseman, Jose Altuve. Now a screamer into the outfield. And there's one down. So up next, Jeremy Pena. Pena replaced the great Carlos Correa as the Astros starting shortstop, and he's proven to be more than capable at the big league level, Boog. Instant impact guy. He's the only positional player to be named World Series MVP as a rookie in the history of baseball. That's a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Hung up in a rundown now. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Here's a 1-1. He's trying for third. The 1-1 is fouled off. Pena, the runner at second with one away. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Runner goes again. Still two and two after the foul ball. And here it comes. Fouls it back with two strikes. At the belt and fires. Runner on the move again. Line drive, base hit. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. The throw to second is offline. That's two consecutive extra base hits for this team. Didn't try to do too much with it, just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Tag out at third, and that's a double. Back here at Chase Field, this is Corbin Carroll. Yeah, we pulling up, kicking in the front. And a pitch. Hit in the air, center field. Makes his way towards it. Makes the grab. One down. Next to hit for Arizona, Jake McCarthy. Just oh, off the inside, inside edge. And that's ball four. ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. One that's gone runner at first. And now Jack Peterson. Pickoff throw. No, he tries changed. to get back and see. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Snap throw behind the runner, but he's back hey. in time. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Next offering in there for a strike. Two, two. That's yep. strike two. Swung on, belted. Myers going back and into the pool. It's out of here. A two-run homer. It's 2-1. Two, one. one down. Christian Walker getting ready to hit. Hey. in there. It's a ball and two strikes. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a man aboard now with one away. Everything came together for him. When you see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Caught in a rundown now. Tags the runner. Applies the tag, right and they get two. Double play. Bang, bang. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Kyle Tucker. Fights it off. He'll see another. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The pitch. 
That's a strikeout. Here's Mauricio Dubon. And he lays down a bunt. Marte. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Vic Caratini at the plate. Runner on the goal. Fights that one away, still one and two. The Diamondbacks leading by a run here at the top of the second. Oh, caught up in a rundown now. Kicks and fires. In the air to left down the line. And that's a foul ball. And a ball in two strikes. Rudder goes again. Gets down. Base hit. The throw to third. In there hey. safely. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield. There goes the runner. And a count one and two. Runners are at the corners, one away. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Runner on the go again. On the ground, Perdomo. To second, him, that's one. Out. Got him. He's out. The double play cuts down the potential. Back here in the desert, here's the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Next offering is in for a strike. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here's the catcher, Adrian Del Castillo. Check oh. swing, no appeal. Liner, base hit. No, he's safe. Well, they call that an advantage count for a that reason. You're so much no more likely field. to get something you can right handle. Home. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Right Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit. Back safely. One strike. Right-hander kicks deals. Hey. Again snaps it down to first. Hey. But he scrambles back. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. And he deals. Hit hard. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Ah. Pitch in for a strike. Two and two now. Two on, one out. Three and two. In the dirt, but kept close. Nice job behind the plate there. Out there to center. And there's two away. So the lineup flips no over. Number Corbin seven. Carroll, the next to hit. There's a swing and a drive. Myers hauls it in to end the inning.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Leading off, Jake Myers. Jake Myers. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Two strikes. Bounce to the left side. And that squirts through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. So the batting order turns over. Here's the former MVP. Rudder takes off. Bounced up the middle. Marte. They get one. He's safe at third, and the tying run is 90 feet away. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Up nope. and in, and it's two and one. Two Though Chris, through the early strike. stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Kicks and deals. Out towards right center field, sizing this one up. Squeezes it. Runner tags for third. He'll score on the set fly. We are tied at two. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. McCarthy makes the catch and that'll do it. Bottom of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Jake McCarthy. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, now the best way to make them feel the pain is scoring from first. Look for a good secondary lead and an excellent jump when the ball's in play. McCarthy aboard here at first with nobody out. And another ball. And he gets back in. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the... He tries to get back and see. And a pitch. That one's in there. And now two and two. With two strikes, may see some moves. over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here check on the runner tries to get back and see Three. got him <laughs> outside pitch got the better of him that time and now it's Christian Walker and a pitch that ball that one at 95 missed up top and yeah, that's ball two Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Tied up here in the early going. Not even close there. Full count now. So, here we go. Base runner at first, could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the back. Tries no, to get safe. back and see. Three and two now. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. And they grab the lead. It's 4-2. Base is empty one away. Now it's the second baseman, Cattell Marte. The pitch. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two runs across in the inning. Here in the last half of the third. That one is absolutely belted. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's got himself a triple. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended now, through the swing for the line drive base hit. Number 50, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Fought off foul. One away with a runner at third. Next That's offering bullshit. is down low. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. That one two. misses. Counts full three and two. And ball four to a board. So one out with two aboard. Adrian Del Castillo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Next offering is in for a strike. Almost got him. Stays alive. Base hit and a run into score. A couple of hits in a row for him here. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something Ball on three. it. That pitch was inside and he let it get Three-ball, really deep. So. Pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. One out. Runners at first and second. That one ripped. That's back there. Out of here. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add to the lead. It's 8-2. So one out, nobody on. Here's the shortstop at the play. Geraldo Perdomo. comes a pitch swing and this one's bounced to the ground Pena in plenty of time to first and they get the out back to the top of the lineup now here is Corbin Carroll 3-1 and he couldn't come up with it one of the things about that two out walk the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead so ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Gets to it on Got first. It. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. And we're back. Now at the plate, Yainer Diaz. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one upstairs. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Suarez makes the catch, and there's one gone. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. Line drive, short hop to third. Throws to first He's in out. time. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. The batter. Two outs, base is empty. Mauricio, Mauricio Dubon, Dubon up next for the Astros. 1-1 hey. one, one is cut on and missed to the pitch. One ball. Upstairs. Two strikes. So it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. Two outs. Pitch two misses there. The count now two and two. Hey. Got him swinging. <laughs> Bottom of the fourth. Jack Four Peterson the stands in. The designated hitter. God. The wind of the pitch. Yeah. Tried to go. check his swing there, appeal to third. He did not go around. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. A 
Got him. <laughs> now one away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Christian Walker. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Good eye right there. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. And that just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really Three. well right now. <laughs> Got him looking. That's out number two. Here's Cattell Marte. Righty delivers. And that one is lifted in the air. Moving under it. Drops into the glove. And that's the third out. Back here at Chase Field. And here's the first baseman, the first Victor baseman. Caratini. Victor. Swings and drives one out to deep left field. Gritchick ranging back. Caught just shy of the wall. Here's Alex Bregman. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. The Astros with a lot of ground to make up. And we're at the top of the fifth ground ball right side this looks like extra bases around first heading for two and that's a double he was all over that one I really like that swing man he didn't just push it the other way through the infield he drove it that way and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he runner breaks for third ball misses the throw. Tag, and he's out Miss struck him out and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one two three we head to the bottom of the fifth down the third baseman a Eugenio Suarez A little yeah. out front there as he swings through it. One ball. Clearly he was sitting Two on a straight. fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. One and two now. <laughs> on a line, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are oh, more dude. satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Well, these Diamondbacks putting together Ball some three. really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. So far, they have six hits in the count. Dives, and he can't hang on. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now, number 51. Randall Gritchick now. Next offering is in for a strike. Bregman. Tags the runner for one. How about that double play? Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Man at second. Lifted in the air down the left side. He makes the grab, and that is that. Back here in the desert. All right, we go to the, the top base. half of inning number six. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away.
the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. That one fouled off. One out, base is empty. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field, way back there. And it hits the fence. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. And he'll make it into third with a triple. The batter. So Designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Montgomery on the pitch here. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And he grounds one to the right side. Just ahead of the no, throw, he scores! And it's 8-3. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Runner on at first with one gone. Runner on the move. Ball. Pitch is low. Two balls. One second. Throw. He made it safe. Looks like they want to set up the double play. Intentional walk will make it first and second with one gone. Two on with one out. And stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And now the lefty, runners on the move. Three. Swing and a miss. Oh, That's a hand scratching and bad, walking back to the dugout. But you got to give credit to the pitcher, working his way back in and finishing the hitter off. Nope. Got a good eye there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right Aye. there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't <laughs> have yep. as much outside plate coverage. In the air, center field. McCarthy settles under it. Makes the catch in and over. And welcome back to the ball. Bottom of the six, and now Corbin Carroll. Yeah, the right hander deals, and oh, another ball. ball. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. Left hand batter waits. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And now Jake McCarthy. One down, base is empty. In the air, left side. Fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll make it safely. That's a double. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third Whoa. baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Aye. They say it went. Two balls, two strikes. Next two pitch balls. way upstairs. One out and a runner at second here in the bottom of the sixth. 
Hey. Struck him out looking. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And yeah, now two balls and a strike. And he dives in He's safely. Safe. McCarthy on its second with two down. Now fly ball to right center. Tucker really on his horse for it. And that is that. And we're back. We and now him. Victor Caratini. Number 17. Victor Caratini. Hey. Big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. And he'll be safe at first. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk. Rudder takes off. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Throw to second. Got him, second out. Out at second. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. High fly ball out towards left field. Gritchick going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Two outs, base is empty. So next up for Houston, Jake Myers. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. And misses. It's a strikeout. Set for the last half of the seventh. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Now, number 56, Ronel Blanco. And the pitch. Scores to center. No doubt about it. That is long gone. He circles the bases. It's 9-3. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. And that's in the dirt. What the? Nobody on, nobody out. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Aye. Comes up empty. That's strike two. <laughs> That okay. one missed. That one is no, inside ball, ball four. And I mean, now oh, so catcher. close. Adrian. And now the catcher comes up to him. Del Adrian Del Castillo. And the righty deals. Fast ball for a strike. And the count one and two. Upstairs. Now a snap He's through to first. And he dives back in time. High fly ball out to left field. Dubon settles under this one. Corrals it. And there's one away. Man at first. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Randall Gritchick. Next ah. offering in there for a strike. One and ball, it's one and two. Two strikes. And yeah, it skips in the dirt, but he's back safely. Right-handed reliever. Swings through it for the K. Snaps it to first and barely back in on a dive. Now it's going to be Geraldo Perdomo. This one lifted in the air, left field. Dubon towards the line. He's got it. And that is out number three. Back here at Chase Field, ready to begin the eighth. Here's the Astros' leadoff man, Jose Altuve. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. 
So a man aboard and next to hit for Houston. Runner takes off for third. Trying to bunt his way on. Suarez. Bunt attempt doesn't work. They get the out. Well, there it looked like the batter was trying to bunt for a base hit, and as he got thrown out, the runner advanced, so he's going to get credit with the sack bunt. You know, there's this redheaded announcer that I work with sometimes that gets really angry when that happens. At the plate is the Astros catcher. Double steal. It's a squeeze. On the first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Next to hit, Kyle Tucker. Two outs. Up the middle. And a base hit knocks in a run. <laughs> Picks himself up in RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much. Runner on the go. Right back to him on the mound. Over oh. to first. And that is the inning. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now it's going to be Corbin Carroll. And a pitch. Ripped to short. One up, one down. Jake McCarthy. Stay in now for the Diamondbacks. Base is empty one away near the bottom half of the eighth inning. In the air out towards right center. Myers hauls it in and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Next is the designated hitter, Jock Peterson. The 1-1 is fouled off. Two outs, base is empty. That <laughs> one almost got him. That three missed ball, by a lot. Strike. Full count, three and two. That one the other way. The throw to first. He's out. out with room to spare, and that's the inning. All set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in for the Astros, Victor Caratini. Up the middle. Perdomo oh. on to first. And a quick out number one. He's two outs away. So next up for Houston, Alex Bregman. Check hey. swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. One ball, two strikes. And it gets Bregman. And now the Astros are down to their final out. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. On the ground, and this should do it. Perdomo 